He's the interim heavyweight boxing champion of the world. And he's Bahamian. Meet Sherman Tank Williams, a man on a mission. I put up an open challenge to Holyfield live on TV. 40 million people heard him. I said I would like a rematch in my backyard. He responded, yes. So, Mr. Holyfield, we're still waiting on you to sign those papers. I mean, whether you said yes to the rematch to save face, whether it was emotions, you know, now we had this point. I feel like I have my, my people is behind me. The tourism is behind me, the Ministry of Youth is behind me, the country is behind me. We can host a big championship fight right here live in Nassau, Bahamas, broadcast it to the world. And this time at least I would be assured a fair, a fair ruling. Tank says that he wanted to see Evander the real deal Holyfield stripped of his title. He says that after the controversial fight, which took place on January 22nd at the Greenbrier Resort in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, he filed a protest with the World Boxing Federation and awaits their decision. As of a Sunday pass, I was informed that they were not sanctioning the fight with Holyfield and Brian Nielsen in Denmark and that they were going ahead with an elimination bout between Francois Botha and some Argentine in Argentina in late April, and the winner of that fight will then face me for the World Boxing Federation title. For the Tourism Today Network, I'm Gina Seeley.